Sumatra is the second highest diversity island for Nepenthes after Borneo, spreading from the lowlands to mountain forests. Among 38 Nepenthes species recorded in Sumatra Island, 33 of them are endemic. According to database of the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List of Threatened Species, about 33 species of Nepenthes in Sumatra are threatened with extinction. In collaboration with the Mohammed bin Zayed Species Conservation Fund, Elga Ranjana and his partners, Linda Wegin Ingram, Anga Udaputra, Joko Rido Widono, and Harto, from National Research and Innovation Agency, carried out an expedition to save Nepenthes species in North Sumatra. And here, is a story of their journey. Our main target is Nepenthes rigidifolia, which the local people in here called it Taku Taku. Based on IUCN Red List, this species is categorized as critically endangered species. On a rescue mission of Nepenthes rigidifolia, they were guided by their partners from Forestry and Environmental Services of North Sumatra Province and the local people. Although Nepenthes rigidifolia has been declared a critically endangered pitcher plant since 2013, no ex situ conservation efforts have been carried out while its population is decreasing due to hunting activities. During 14 days, they explored four regencies of North Sumatra, started from Karo, Dairi, Pakpak Barat, and Tel Simulungan, to find and to rescue Nepenthes rigidifolia. And they finally found it, in Karo Regency. This species is one of the wonderful creatures that I've ever met. The picture has a unique pattern with scarlet color in its peristome. I think that the main reason why many hunters are competing to collect them or to sell them as ornamental plants. Once Nepenthes rigidifolia was found, the team completed the relevance data, including its coordinate, environmental parameters, and morphological characteristics. They also tried to map the population of Nepenthes rigidifolia from the air, using unmanned aerial vehicle. In this observation, Nepenthes rigidifolia populations were seen climbing the trees growing on the cliffs. We found this species in small population. They grow on a sloping land that quite close to the road. I think about 10 until 50 meters. Such conditions make threatened 
the population of Nepenthes Rigidicol. As a paradise island for Nepenthes, in North Sumatra, the team did not only find Nepenthes rigidifolia, but also the other species. During this expedition, we also found another Nepenthes species, such as Nepenthes tractabilis, Nepenthes tobaica, Nepenthes pobicaulis, Nepenthes anwartiana, and Nepenthes tongiptera. I'm so lucky can be a part of this expedition. Nepenthes spectabilis is vulnerable species and renowned for its robust and intricately picture motive. Nepenthes tobaica is named after Lake Toba since it is particularly found near the site. While Nepenthes rhombicollis obtained its specific epithet for its angular stem. Through this expedition, they also found Nepenthes longiptera characterized by perfectly grown wings with dense hair on its upper pitcher. In order to increase awareness of the conservation of Nepenthes in North Sumatra, the team carried out a focus group discussion with the local people, who are also ornamental plants lovers. During discussion, they were educated about the scarcity of Nepenthes and trained how to propagate it properly. The team also advised them to participate in protecting Nepenthes as part of biological wealth of North Sumatra by propagating it and returning it to its natural habitat. From this expedition, a number of Nepenthes species were collected for further study and ex situ conservation in botanical gardens of Indonesia. Mari lestarikan Nepenthes di Sumatera Utara.